In the Code of Silence, a four-part series published in The Intercept, I reported on a criminal enterprise within the Chicago Police Department. A group of gang tactical officers led by Sergeant Ronald Watts were major players in the drug trade radiating out from public housing developments on the south side. In exchange for what was referred to on the street as a tax, they would provide protection to cooperating drug dealers from interference by law enforcement, target their competition, and they routinely framed those who refused to cooperate with their criminal ends by planting drugs and, and guns on them. For much of Watts's career, he and his co-conspirators were under investigation by various agencies, one or more various agencies, among them the FBI, the Bureau of Internal Affairs, DEA, the state's attorney's office. Yet over more than a decade, these investigations yielded little. Shannon Spaulding, an undercover narcotics officer, and her partner, Danny Echeverria, who in the course of their work uh, uncovered information about the criminal activity of the Watts team, sought to bring it to their superiors within the department and were rebuffed, and went to the FBI with the information that there was something going on that warranted investigation. Ultimately, they were detailed to the FBI for a joint FBI internal affairs investigation, which they conducted for several years, until as they were at the threshold of breaking the case open, they were outed within the department by senior police officials, and thereafter subjected to fierce retaliation for breaking the code of silence. Spalding proved to be a remarkable source, remarkable not only in her courage, but also in her ability to describe in vivid narrative detail the dynamics by which abuse is enabled within the department and shielded from public scrutiny. My hope for this article going forward is that it will contribute to this moment of potential reform in Chicago, contribute to a state of affairs where it's no longer necessary for an officer in the face of the code of silence to be heroic in order to do his or her job.